Folks, we're live. We are back on the air. It is Dick and Marty live. My name is Dickie Longstocking, Dick Long for short, and I'm here today with a couple of the leaders from the P-Tube community. Uh, longtime associate of mine, Mr. P. Don, Don Still. Oh, boy. Mr. P. Dusendorf. Dustin nope. Jackson. Nope. 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 Mr. P. How you doing, Mr. P.? How you doing? Welcome to the show. Welcome to Camardi Live, buddy. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. All right. Now, you are doing great things. Uh, I have followed your, you for a long time. It has been, what, 20 some odd years? Since the scrambles. Since the scrambles. P-Tube has been a thing. Uh, a great community. Uh, you guys get together. You do a lot of great things. You, I know you do a lot of charity work. You're a nonprofit organization. You've done some great things. Change the face of... Okay, I'll just say the community. Okay. Uh, tell me a little bit about P-Tube um, that people might not know. Well, I mean, you know, like you said about as far as um, giving back to the community and all that, we have had some great charities that I'm quite proud of. Um, our um, 0102 Enron um, Festival was actually a big hit. Oh. Um, you, were, you were there. Yeah. And that was dedicated to the, uh, the Enron, the company? No, that was actually dedicated to a uh, philanthropist, uh, Enrico Ronaldo. Oh, 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 yes. That is the man. Yes. Uh, sold all of his liquid, liquidated all of his gold, right? Came up with millions, came to form P-Tube South America, a big chapter for you guys. Ah. Got into a little bit of uh, legal issues with um, transporting and exporting um, uh, local favorites. But, um, you know, we're working stuff out and, you know, uh, things are looking pretty good in the future. Nice, nice. And the man you brought here with you today, this is your personal assistant? Uh, actually, Gim assistant. Gim assistant. Gim assistant, yeah. All right. And, and, and what is your name there, Gim assistant? Jordy Jacks. Jordy Jacks. How you doing? Thanks for coming on the show. Uh, or I guess you could think, I guess I think you're, you're I don't know who he is to you. But uh, uh, Mr. P, thank you for bringing him on with you. Yeah, thanks, man. I don't like the form of transportation. I'm tired of sitting in that bag. Uh, well, whatever you guys got worked out, you got worked out fine. I'm sure the two first uh, class seats that we gave you to fly out here uh, were great for whoever sat in them. Spare Airlines. Amazing. Well, we only do the best for our guests. Yes. All right. Now, Mr. They P. They have great nuts. This is true. This is true. Mr. Great P. Great nuts. Uh, you've been around since what? Was it about 1994? Ish. Yeah. Yeah. God. That's... Um like when um, curiosity killed the cat, so to speak. Right, right. When people right, started to right. really find out. Yeah, because it's like, the, again, the scrambles were, were coming out. Um, mm -hmm. The internet was brand new, and people were actually looking right. at um, uh, celebrities that didn't belong to the body, but they were like, oh, no, 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 that's real. No, that's really That's that. real. Oh, yeah, yeah I remember. You I bet remember. your bottom dollar that you spanked it nonetheless. Nonetheless, black girl's body, but an Asian girl's head, and you believed it was the legit. Hey, that was Lucy Liu. Yeah. If I ever saw it, that yes, was Lucy yes, Liu. So Lucy Liu had thirty-eight quadruple Ds. Yep. Pure stereolas. It worked for yep. me. It worked for me. And I want to thank you for all the work you did there. I mean, you helped a lot of people out in a lot of troubling times. All right. Uh, I'm glad to see that you guys are doing great. Um, really, really proud of what you've done in the virtual reality world, but we'll get to that another time. We'll talk about all of your technological advancements. Indeed. Indeed. Um, folks, here in the Dwahi Nations, perhaps the biggest community for the pervert... Pervertida. Pervertida. Biggest, biggest community for pervertidas all over the world. The Dwahi Nations love him. He's huge. He's brought his gym assistant. And when we come back, we're going to discuss some real personal matters. Sort of. We got a question for Mr. P and his gym assistant, and we want to get to the bottom of this. The fans want to know. We'll be right back on Dick and Marty. But first, we pause for station identification. Mr. P, will you do us the honors, please? Dick and Marty is live all the time, every time, and is available only on the DM Global Network. Folks, it's time to read a little bit of fan mail. 
message for you, son. And I know you're wondering, how the hell do you got fan mail when this is basically like your first episode? Mind your own damn business. That's right. That, plus, if you were anywhere in the know, you would understand that we've been going strong for 55 years, man. We've been on the air, the greatest radio broadcast there's never been. Join us on Dick and Marty. Join us if you will. Leave us if you can. It's time to get to some fan mail now. And uh, well, well j- j- just a quick break real quick. Um, I just want to put out that um, I personally am uh, launching a brand new show. It's gonna what be the? it's it's gonna take off. It's gonna be one of the biggest, hottest shows everybody's talking about. Whoa, whoa, what the? F- you come on to my show. Whoa, wait, whoa, wait. Come you on. come on to my show and uh, try to promote some kind of. This is okay. for I let you on my show. This is the first time you will stop. I will speak. I let you on to my show. This is the first time I let you come on here, man. You know, you come and do your thing, and you want to promote a show that you're doing. Like you want to try to steal my radio, steal my guest. What the hell is the name of this show anyway? Bone in. I love it. Yeah, yeah, it's great. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. There you have it, folks. Thank you. And there you have it. Officially, join us for the social media exclusive. We're going to do this. Dick and Marty presents Bone in. That, that, oh, oh, I did. That's what? right, buddy. B- bone in with that's, P. Duncan. That's right, buddy. Bone Dick with and Duncan. Marty present Bone in with. We'll work that out. We'll work that out. Dick and Marty presents a Dick and Marty production. Bone in with P. Duncan Strangers, only available bone on the DM Global Network. You heard it here first. So if you're going to type it in, it's Bone with P. Duncan, not P. Dun, 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 or whatever it else he's trying to pronounce. It's P. Duncan. And this fan mail comes from Robbie in Utica, New York. Robbie in Utica writes Dear Dick and Marty, being huge superstars as you all clearly are, you have rubbed elbows with some of the biggest and the baddest. Which celebrity superstars would you and the creators of P-Tube book in a porno? Now, what a really great question. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you so much for writing in. Uh, guys, I'm going to do it a little certain way here. going to give you a choice. One male role, one female role. Does that sound okay to you? We're going to do it to a nice, sexy soundtrack. This is the Dick and Marty Band. This is the Dick and Marty Band you're hearing here. And uh, they're pretty swell, if I say so myself. Female role. You guys ready? We're trying to book a pornography. This is for the P-Tube community. The female role. We got Ellen Dow. Maybe you remember her. She's a rapping granny from Wedding Singer. Remember We've got Violet Smith. If you remember her, she's from Hook. She is from Harry Potter. Wait, isn't that that Downtown Abbey chick? I think she was on Downtown Abbey. I think she was. Great works by this lady. One wonderful works. And the the final, weird. the final, Whoopi Goldberg, a star of the show The View, Arrival of Dick and Marty. Is this like, this is not Sister Act? Oh, maybe you caught on, but this is uh, called sisters acting up. Oh, oh buddy, God. how about it? Well, church is in session. It's time to pick one of these female roles. Okay, you got these three women. All right, you know what? Let's do the male role, and then what we'll pick between the six. How about that? First role. Okay, first role. Dan. John Goodman. Connor. All right, so Dan Connor, John Goodman. Is he dressed like Sully? Uh, no, but he could do the voices. Can he, he wear could, the bowling shirt? He could wear the bowling shirt. And nothing else? Sure. Okay, I'm listening. Take it. Second choice. Tom Arnold. Star of The Stupids and movies just like it. Right, third choice, third and final choice. Johnny Galecki. But, but he's strung out on heroin. And he's a Roseanne team. Wait a minute now. Maybe these people are, maybe, maybe, maybe we need a, a crossover. 
on P2. I'm just throwing that out there. Sister Act meets Roseanne. Boom. Church is in session. Roseanne Act. The Lanford Lunchbox presents Sisters Act and Note. Yes. A Dick and Marty production because we're going to put our stamp on everything we can. DM Global. We're everywhere. You know what I mean? Uh, there you have it. Those are your six people. You got them. Who are you booking in this pornography? These are celebrity superstars. These are giant superstars. Mr. P, who's in your porno, man? Um, well, Tom Arnold will give me serious anxiety when it's bouncing around. But then again, Johnny Galecki's a pretty bouncy person, too. Always nervous, always doing that little finger thingy. And he's going to be strung out on heroin. Don't forget. Strung out. So I'm hoping... I would, I would prefer John Goodman was strung out on heroin. I'm hoping he's never done heroin, and that's why he's so strung out. This is his first time. If we're trying... If, if if we're going big or go home, I go John Goodman and Ellen Dow. Wow. That would be... More I- like John Goodman versus Ellen Dow. Oh, that would be iconic. Yeah. Iconic. John Goodman, Ellen Dow... Opening scene is going to be a surfboard. Wow. wow. Folks, if you can see the maneuver he just did here in the studio. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Uh, Jordy Jacks, the Gim assistant, the, the greatest Gim assistant there ever was, or wasn't, but then was. Jordy, your ultimate point on these six A list superstars. I would definitely take Ellen Dow. Because if I'm not mistaken, isn't she the old lady from that other teen movie that makes out with the with the other chick? Are we talking about the same lady here? Ah, uh, you know, I've never seen not another teen movie. I think Is that the is. girl go pee pee me no want to CC yes. movie? Yes, very much. Yeah. yeah, don't worry too much about it. Alright. More of a she's all that. But if it's her, she seems like a good kisser. Oh, oh, so you want some sensuality so. in your... Uh, now, is that with or without teeth? Let's try... If we're talking gummers, then that's a whole new genre we're getting well, into. Yeah, that, that's Which for you can another... find it all on P2. To all see what's it. beneficial to my audience. And it's... I mean, so, so who's the male role? You got Ellen Dow, just like your... Whatever he is to you, selected. Probably going to be John Goodman. So... Because he seems like... He's going to cut off her right, right afterwards. <laughs> Very interesting that you chose... You made the exact same choice as your... Ma- master? I don't know. Whatever he, whatever Mr. P is. I, I wouldn't say master. Well, you can. You can. I wouldn't. But you can. Definitely. Okay. Uh, here's the thing. Very interesting you guys made those choices. My choices are Whoopi Goldberg and Johnny Galecki, strung out on heroin. But I want Whoopi Goldberg drunk as shit, okay? I want, like, Whoopi Goldberg two pints of Tito's in. I want Johnny Galecki strung out on heroin, you know? He's freaking out. I'm helping him freak out even more. And then I just, out of nowhere, and action, you know? And there's Whoopi Goldberg... Fully clothed as she always is. And she's just jamming a lava lamp into Johnny Galecki's ass. And I mean, now this is if you get P2. His stomach is glowing. P2, folks. One of the greatest communities of all time. These people gotten together since 94, trading tapes, photos, Polaroids. Laser discs. Sketches, laser discs, things like that. Um, some people had... Uh, uh, little etchings and sketchings drawn out on bar napkins they would trade um paint me like one of your french girl paintings those types of things they've been doing it since forever and now they've branched out to so much more a huge community you should really check them out uh there's my ultimate porno whoopi goldberg and johnny galecki getting it on hot and steamy and mind you he can't find his contacts right and again Totally strung out on heroin. And she does not like men, so she is going to treat him like, yeah, a lady. Treat her like a lady. In the, rest, in the wrestling world, this is considered Booker T versus Brad Maddox. Wow. Wow. 
that took a turn big for things. the worse. Big things. We will be right back on Dick and Marty Live, but first, a word from one of our sponsors. Roll your plots and grab your phone. Folks. I want to talk to you about a very special product near and dear to my heart called Sideline Joe's Mop Water. Sideline Joe's Mop Water is the lead selling sugar drink across all of the nations. It is the number one powerhouse soft drink since 1992. I mean, you could ask your parents about it. They remember being raised on this stuff. Sideline Joe's Mop Water is innovative. It is in your face. It is right back at you two times. Sideline Joe's Mop Water is available in 20 ounce, 40 ounce, 64 ounce bottles. Now available in three different flavors. Booty Blue, Sexberry, Original Mop Water, the one that raised your parents don't forget. Sold now, bodegas, gas stations, wherever coolers are, wherever cold drinks are sold, Mop Water is available. That was beautiful, Sidon. What this? Now if you could do me a favor. Hit that. Folks, it's time for a real-time update from our leading sports analyst, Sideline Joe. How you doing, Sideline? We got you on the air. Uh, I'm all right. I'm all right. Great, great. Now, Sideline, there's been a lot of big hitting news all across the world of sports from football to baseball to basketball to professional wrestling. You've had front row seats, dare I say, sideline seats to all of these big events. Can you give us an update? What's going on in the world of sports? The floor is yours. Well, let me tell you something. I've been watching MasterChef for a long time, and apparently they use Viking stoves. Okay, I never even knew that was a stove, you know? I thought Vikings were just Vikings. I didn't think they were kitchen equipment, but apparently they are. And uh, I've been looking up into how much they were. Lots uh, and lots of money. Sports, Sideline Joe. Uh, The world of sports, please. The baseball, big trades before the deadline. Any rumors on what's going on before the playoffs? Actually, yeah, I, I am uh, I am pretty excited because South Park is going to be starting up at the end of September, and that's oh can't wait. I've been watching it oh since the beginning, and it's just an amazing you are, show. You are our leading sports analyst. Sideline, Joe, can you analyze a sport for us? Uh, football starting soon. Any rumors on what's going on backstage? Yeah, football starting soon. It's getting cold. And you know what you need when you get cold? There's some crepes. I know it's a pretty good spot in Chinatown. It's Jeez, amazing. Incredible. They are really, really good. They're having some Nutella, strawberry, banana Buddy, one. It's amazing. Sideline, sideline, I got a question for you, man. You are paid to analyze sports. Can you analyze any one sport for us right now? Is there anything you could say? Meatloaf shakes. Let's keep the ball rolling here on Dick and Marty Live. Dickie's got a surprise for you. It's time to play America's favorite game show. It's time to play. What's in that box? Folks, when we come back, we're going to be live at the Teasum Amphitheater playing this game in front of our live studio audience. But before we do, here's a little message from one of our sponsors over at Master Date. Master Date. Someone told me about masturbating. Come where you want. And I met my wife uh, on there, and I knew right away that it was going to be some, something special. She was from Manitoba. I was from Saskatoon. But I just knew that we could make it work. Come where you'd like. Come where you'd like. Well, to be honest, I'm here for one thing and one thing only. Master date. Big and reliable, large and in charge. We're playing your favorite game. We got six items on the board. Crack my neck twice. We got two contestants here, Mr. P. Deucen Heiser, and his personal. Yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. Just go, just go. 
and his personal game assistant, Just Jordy go. Jackson. Mr. Pete True Hill. His name, True Hill. True Hill. True Hill. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah. let me tell you something, Check folks. Shag off. off. You know what it is. Six items on the board. 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. These six items, you guess them right? Yeah. You're going somewhere great. So where are we going? Just how just we always reveal the prize at the end of the show when the game is over. At the right? Copa. You don't get them right. All six of these items will be shoved up your rectum. No. Right. Is that understood? So they go up your rectum, right? Right, Jordy? You are the gym assistant. I don't know how that works. You decide that out amongst each other. There if are I don't six. Want to, you have to take them. Can we break them in half and shove them up each other's? Hands? Absolutely bit, not. To bits and pieces. Absolutely not. Not easy. Whole. Yeah. Oh. Six oh items are on the board. Oh boy. Thirty seconds are on the clock. And go. Your time hard. starts now. Um. Blank Bob Squarepants. Sponge. Yes. Um. Not a pen, but a pencil. Yes. Um. You made mix tapes out of these cassettes they're, they're round recorder they're round they're music. cds yes a janitor carries a bunch of these keys yes um you want to see how hot it is so you go read the temperature thermometer yes um click come on come on tell me we got that tell me we got that folks we're gonna play it back. We got the we got the officials in the back. It almost looks like they didn't make it. That would have been a perfect. Wait a minute. Would that have been all six? I feel robbed. Is sideline Joe, one of your judges. Don't worry about that. No oh, man. That's that's sideline Joe. That guy's had it out for me from since day one. Yes, folks. Yeah. These guys have won a beautiful trip. We got it. Woo. Beautiful trip to lovely Georgia. Oh, yeah. We're going to Hollywood, baby. Yeah. Uh, no. Well, hold on now. No, 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 hold no. On. We're going to Macon. No. Oh, wait. baby. We're going to Macon. Wait, wait. Hold up. We're going to Black Spring Break. You want a beautiful trip to Georgia. You want a You want a beautiful trip to we're Georgia. To Georgia. The country. Jo Georgia, wait, the country. What? Pack your bags. Your flights are booked. At the hotel, you got to take care of yourself. But we have packed your God, bags. shit is that? Uh, wait, wait, wait. What? You're going to get a brand new set of Dick and Marty luggage. That's right. Everything you could possibly use when you are flying Spirit all the way to lovely Georgia. That shit rips, dude. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's great. You never said that. Thank these contestants for showing up today. Ah, you gotta be. We'll be back son of a with more Dick and Marty kid. after the break. Gotta be kidding. Folks, I'd like to thank you for joining us. I'd like to thank you for listening. Big thanks to Mr. P. Duncan Strings and. Jordy Jackson, the whole P2 community. Thank you to Sideline Joe for whatever that's worth. Join us next time on Dick and Marty, folks. We got all the biggest and the baddest, folks. Gregory Hines, Don Rickles, Red dead. Buttons. Dead. Dead. I swear it's my witness. Beyonce. Tom Cruise. No. No, the President not. himself, Donald Trump. All live. Absolutely the next Dick and Marty. We love you, no, folks. No, not. You're... What?